This video is brought to you by Brilliant. Don't. Then you'll go hungry. Forever. You mean I'll starve to death? Yes, and then I'll eat you. Huh? What's your favorite? Uh, favorite? A quavers. Quaver! Hopefully that'll incentivize you somewhat. Yeah, I'm. I'm probably just gonna wait for the police to arrive. <laughs> There are no police here. And anyway, how long do you think it can last? Well, I'm glad you asked. Now, the idea of going days or even weeks without any food might seem absolutely nuts to most of us. The human body has actually evolved some pretty genius ways of adjusting if you find yourself in such a situation. Under normal circumstances, your body breaks down the carbohydrates in your food into glucose, and that glucose enters your bloodstream to be taken to different parts of your body. Your pancreas senses the rise in blood sugar level and secretes insulin, which helps the glucose get into cells to be used as energy. Some of the glucose isn't used straight away though. Instead, your liver makes strings of glucose called glycogen, which can be stored and used later. And this will keep you happily ticking along for about six hours. But then after six hours, well, you get really grumpy. Your glycogen stores are virtually depleted and if anyone talks to you, you want to punch them in the face. Oh dear, Mr. Grumpy! So your body turns to fatty acids, the building blocks of fat molecules stored in your tissues. And this leads to... Ketosis. Bless you. The yeah, good one. From about 6 to 72 hours after not eating, the body maintains its energy levels by burning excess fats in a process called ketosis. Your liver starts metabolizing those fatty acids into ketone bodies, chemicals that act as stand-ins when glucose isn't available. And interestingly, they will also cause your breath and urine to smell fruity. While the rest of your body feeds on these ketone bodies, your brain drains the last of the stored glucose until it is completely used up. And then your brain dies. Joking. Lol. Actually, it recalibrates. You see, on a normal day, it uses about 120 grams of glucose to function, which is about the same as two of those weirdly giant energy drinks that you see 40-year-old men riding BMXs drinking. But at that rate, your brain would be dead after about three days. Not joking. So instead, thankfully, your body and your brain and evolution all got together and they came up with a plan B. Around 72 hours with no food, it switches from using 120 grams of glucose a day to just 30 grams. And it now stops being so fussy and starts consuming those ketone bodies. 
Evolution has done this because while you may not be up to a game of Trivial Pursuit, you are alert enough to continue to look for food. Oh, Evolution, so clever! And you really wouldn't be in the mood for a board game anyway. You'd be lethargic, anxious, depressed, struggling with concentration and general comprehension. Kind of like watching an episode of The Crown. Take that, crowners. Burn. Yeah. After 72 hours, things start to get pretty dark. Your fat stores are depleted and so your body turns to protein. But good news, Weight Watchers, you're about to get real skinny. Proteins in muscles, the largest source of protein in the body, are broken down into amino acids, which can then form glucose that your body and brain can use. But proteins are essential for cell function, so your health goes downhill pretty fast as your body essentially consumes itself in a process called catabolysis. Weight loss isn't the only symptom here. Flaky skin, changes in hair colour, massive swelling to your limbs and abdomen are also on the cards. And you know what the real kick in the balls is? You lose your appetite too. Seriously. Days turn into weeks and once your body's used up all of its available glucose, fatty acids and proteins, and with your immune system shattered from the complete lack of vitamins and minerals, well, it's not going to take much to push you through those pearly gates. However, most people don't die directly of starvation. Instead, usually one kisses one's ass goodbye in the form of a good old fashioned cardiac arrest due to severe muscle degradation. Sounds fun. So it's still gonna be a few weeks yet, you old puppet lady. Some people have lasted as long as 70 days. Maybe without food. But what about water? Without any H2O, joint ache, headaches, and brain shrinkage are gonna to lead to a pretty quick and pretty painful death after only about three days and I'm going to have a hard time even drinking my own urine whilst I'm tied and handcuffed. No. No. Not going to work. Little munchkin. Mum? Oh, I'm not your mother. I'm just a person trying to do bad things. I'm just a bad person, yeah. No, 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 no. I just wanted you to like my food. I almost ate my own arm. I know. I did a boo-boo. Mum, it, it, it's okay. It's just blue bolt is basically just E numbers mixed with medicine and acid. Finder's crispy pancakes are like cat sick wrapped in dog meat. And spam, <laughs> spam is just not food. When you, when you were a boy, you used to love spam. It's pig's brains, Mum. Oh. Mechanically rammed into weird cans. You don't mean that. You're just angry. Look, I'm not angry. I just wish you'd asked me before you kidnapped me, drugged me, tied me to this chair and performed surgery on my arm. Keyhole surgery. <laughs> there it is. That's my mum. I actually think this whole thing's brought us closer together. And you, you don't wish I was dead? No. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. Oh. That's lovely. Brave little bumpskin. Hey, how's it going? What did you think of the video? Did you like it? Did you maybe think it was brilliant? Dot org? For those of you that don't realize what just happened, I seamlessly transitioned you to the sponsor section. 
I make each video to be a broad overview on a subject, but if you really want to dive in deep on a topic that interests you, then your best bet is to do it yourself. Brilliant teaches you science and maths through problem solving. For example, if you like biology, then you should try this course on computational biology. What is that? Computational biology merges the algorithmic thinking of computer scientists with the problem-solving approach of physics to address the problems of biology. My god, that sounds amazing, but very complicated, and I don't think I'll be able to do it. Wrong! They break down each topic into easily digestible chunks. Look! Look again! Brilliant guides you through each course by encouraging you to solve problems along the way, helping you to really grasp concepts. They take each topic, break it down into bite-sized chunks, and present it in a way that's super easy to follow. And what's really cool is if you like a certain problem and you want to learn more, then you can do a course quiz that explores the same concept but in greater detail. So, to help me make more of my ridiculous videos and learn more about Brilliant, go to www.brilliant.org slash everything and sign up for free. Also, the first 200 people that go to that link, the one that says my name in it, will get 20% off the annual premium subscription, but only if you use that link. So that's about it from me. Stay well, look after your mothers, and uh, you've been watching everything.